Hey, today I'm going to show you how to install and use our new snapshot for real estate. So first, let's kick it off with the prerequisites. First step is to install our app in the marketplace. Please install it on the agency and the sub accounts that you want to use uh, this, snapshot, this snapshot. Second step is to install the snapshot. After you go and you pick it up the snapshot, you open the link and you'll be popped with a question. Do you want to import snapshot? Yes, import it now. Uh, after you import it, there are several things that will happen and will continue in the next. Let me show what this uh, snapshot will add to, to your account. So first of all, in the contacts, there will be added a few fields. Uh, here, let me a second. So, Simflow AI real estate. Here, you'll have the real estate booking agent, which one of them has been used because there are four. A booking status if it booked or not booked the appointment, the booked day and time, property address, and the property itself. Uh, questions like it is selling or buying, and the last call duration in seconds. And below, we have a few questions for the lead qualification and lead capturing for each case, if it's a buyer or a seller. So if it's a buyer, we have a few fields here to populate, like professional evaluation, yes, no, bedrooms, amenities, must-haves, budget, and so on. Similar for the real estate uh, questions. Thank you. Before I jump into the workflows, and how to set them up, uh, how you first use this snapshot. What you have to do, you have to go to settings, go to uh, custom values, and here you will see five new custom values that will be used in all across the snapshots for uh, calling and receiving data from uh, our app. The first one is pretty straightforward, is Synflow API key you'll have to bring this uh, from, from our app. And the others are the agents, the templates that we created for you. So recapping it, we have two assistants that book appointments, one for buying, one for selling, and two assistants that do lead qualification and lead capturing, one for buying, one for selling. Let me show you where you grab this information from. This information, after you go to the deployment tab in Go High Level, you will see the API key and the model ID. You will have to copy the API key only once and bring it here. You'll add it here, save. And for each one of those four agents or only the one, the one template that you want to use, you have to couple the model ID and add it in its specific field. So if it's a buying, uh, lead capture one, you put it here. If it's an appointment, you put it in a property viewing model. So click here, any custom value, and you add it. Now, let's start and show you how uh, this snapshot can help you with the automation side. Under automation, there are three folders. One is to trigger the phone calls. Second one is to receive the data and push it back into the CRM. And third one is with some miscellaneous things that uh, are nice to have, but not mandatory for the use of the application. So let's start with the, with making a call. So go into this folder, you'll see four of those, uh, which is for each agent that we added the model ID. You don't need to have all four agents, you only need one. So <coughs> here, you, we have buying, buying property viewing, which makes appointment. Let me show you how it looks. So here at the top, you can have any trigger you want. I just made one here just to make, make an example. It's when a contact receives a tag, but you can add most likely when a form is completed or when you receive a different, uh, a different funnel trigger that is, is going to be used. Then what's going to happen? We're going to update the status if it's buying property viewing with, with that specific agent that has been used for that customers. If it contains or not contains an email address <coughs> uh, 
and it triggers uh, the phone call that uh, is required to make the phone call. Here, you can see that in the model ID and the API key, the custom values that you uh, added before will be used here. So you, they know where to make the phone call. Uh, the phone is raw, the name is contact raw, and <coughs> a few other uh, variables that needs to have some information. All right, this is to make phone calls. After you finish the phone call and the phone call has ended, you'll have to go to uh, the next folder here in bound webhooks. Here, what you have to do is to see how the data flows through um, through the through the CRM. Here, you have a trigger webhook. This one, you have to do it manually on yourself. You have to come here, copy this, go here, paste it in the webhook and initialize it. After it's initialized, you'll receive the status enabled. After the status is enabled, you come back here, you cl click here on mapping reference and you pick one. Save trigger, save workflow, and you can continue. Next, what will happen is Based on the uh, phone number, it will filter if there's an existing contact or it's a new contact, it's, which means that if it's already in the CRM. If it's not in the CRM, it will create a new contact and then we'll uh, resume it with the uh, step if the contact was found already. It will create a summary of the conversation that will populate the, the, uh, that will be added into notes. Then we will see if there's if they wanted to book an appointment during the conversation. If the booked appointment happens, it updates the status, it will update the book and date time. So if the appointment has happened, it will update with the data and so on, and you'll be able to see it in your agent. Just let me give you an example here with Alex, meaning myself. I already booked an appointment here. We should be booked, but done something else here. Uh, so yeah, it's booked. And I know, and under here in notes, I can find out the, the rest of the information, sorry, the rest of the information for that specific call. Thank you, that's all.